Welcome to Land Academy. I'm Jack Butella. I'm Jill DeWitt. We show you how to buy real estate for half of what it's worth. And sell it on the internet really fast. We, we are, are Jack, Jack and Jill, and this, and this is, is the Jack, Jack and Jill, Jill Show, show too. too. With over 15,000 completed transactions, we're the experts at acquiring property. Of all kinds, not just land. For half price and flipping them for way more. All right, let's get this show started. Jill and I interview Richard Alberti, a longtime member. Jack and Jill, how are you? I'm Hello. doing well. How are you guys doing? Excellent. Thank you so much for joining us on the uh, podcast. And actually, oh, it's my pleasure. And thank you for being flexible because I think uh, we must have scheduled something incorrectly our, on our end. But <laughs> I guess that's what you can do when you have your own business, right? Well, when you have your own business, you sit in front of the computer and work. And the best part is you can work from anywhere in the world. So <laughs> exactly. you can't complain. Exactly. So thank you again for being here. And I, I want to, if you would, first share with us and all of our listeners, you know, a little bit about your background and, and, and where you come from. Well, I uh, grew up in New York, moved to Miami many, many years ago, and I was in the insurance business, in the employee benefits consulting business. And I got involved um, indirectly with a friend who had a son who was getting into real estate, and I had another friend who was selling some properties. And I just, you know, uh, you know, asked my friend, hey, you might make a couple of dollars on this? He goes, no, if you can sell it, I'll, I'll pay you. And I, then I got my real estate license and all, and uh, and then I bought a piece of property for 40, sold it for 80. And I said, well, this is pretty easy. And then I bought another parcel for 40 and sold it to 80 to another guy. And before I know it, I got into, uh, into a satellite system, started looking for properties, vacant land, and I found a nice parcels or multiple parcels in the uh, east coast of Florida. I'm sorry, in the west coast of Florida. And I started flipping those properties in 2004, five, six, seven, buying them for seven grand, selling them for 12 grand. And then I went to the county, got a database, and you know how the nightmare that could be in the database they give you, it's a hodgepodge. <laughs> Totally. Uh, and then you want to break everything down. You want to keep the you know first letter capital and then break down the others into yeah. lowercase. And, you know, that's another learning curve. Yep. But uh, that's how I started, you know. Uh, you know, it's been about, wow, 10, 11 years now. Awesome. Yeah. So what, what brought you to us? It sounds like you had a good get go, good, good going. It, it was good. You know, in 2007, <laughs> 8, 9, we were selling properties in South Carolina. Probably sold about 140, 150 properties then. And then everything, as you know, kind of slowed down and it wasn't easy. So I started, you know, uh, thinking about what am I going to do? Is the party over? Is it, you know, and I realized I missed the boat. It, it was probably the best time to be involved in the business. Um, but uh, I, I, I uh, thought it, you know, saying, let, let me, let me look what I used to do and get back into the real estate. But finding like minded people in this land niche is almost impossible. Yeah, yeah I agree. And, uh, you know, I was one of your original five callers about 18 months ago. Yep, I remember. <laughs> five <laughs> listeners. I think it was I number four. <laughs> 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 but, you know, I was glad I found you. And I've been, you know, I listen to you every day, you know, just, you know, being around like minded people and getting ideas and, you know, getting motivated and you know, realizing, you know, it's. It, 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 it's a perfect business. It's inventory. You're pushing paper. You don't have to carry inventory. You don't have to buy from a a, a, a manufacturer or sell it to somebody on terms and wait. You know, like if you were buying and selling, you know, copy paper. You know, you keep it for a certain price. You turn around, wait 60, 90 days for terms. This is a business that you can do it from anywhere in the world and make good money. I had a former employee a long time ago say to me, she said, you figured out how to figured out how to buy dirt and ship paper. That's all it is. is. It's pretty amazing when you think about it. And now with computers, you're really not shipping anything mm -hmm. once in a while. And that's it. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I mean, aside from like the insurance business, which I personally can't stand, but it is a great <laughs> business model. Well, you know, I, like, I saw the, the writing on the wall. I know the government was going to get involved and you know, my commissions were at 15 percent to 7 percent to 3 percent to 1 percent. And I was yep. just chasing my tail. Right. Wow. 
and I love that. Just I love how you can accumulate inventory and just sell it where you need to and when you need to. And there's no inventory management. So yeah, I, you know, I haven't thought about this in a long time, Joe. This just really is. We talk about talked about that for a while a while ago, because we were dealing with mostly people who were brand new in the business, and now it's quite op- it's the opposite. Now we're it's like guys like true like Richard. like Richard. Yeah, you you already know. Yeah, you've been in it for a while. Right. So yeah, I mean, I haven't really thought back that far in quite some time about how how good we have it. Mm-hmm. All I do is worry about IT problems now. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. well, Richard we- reminds me of a number of our members that are that are under the radar um, that know exactly what they're doing. Yep. And they there's some tweaks that they need it, like the data. We all know that this is the best way to get it, you know, and little and the mailer discounts. That that's we all need that. Um, but the, and then you know you're you're kind of just you're off there, Richard, and we love it. You're killing it. And and it's, so it's fun for us to get to talk to you today and, yeah. and see just really what's going on. Well, I'm excited to, you know, speak with you guys and share my experience with others because if there's anybody on the fence that's, you know, a lot of people got downsized through, you know, the, the depression that we, or the recession that we went through in the past seven years. And, you know, I think we're coming out in the last two years. But if everyone's on the fence thinking, what am I going to do? And I've gone through all the real estate courses and short sales and flipping and buying and selling homes and you know 90% of it is just old news it's old way of doing business but you guys were straightforward honest and since I had a background I can tell if something wasn't right and everything was on point not only was it on point but it made it better I thought I knew and I knew half of it but you guys brought in the loose ends that made it so much easier that's Thank a you. great compliment. Thank you, Richard, especially for somebody from ex- with experience like you. Thank it, you. It really made a big difference to me. I mean, I listen to you every day. I, my frustration with you is when I listen to the podcast and it doesn't, it's not working. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm like, I'm, I'm looking, I'm settling oh, down. My oh, kids are yeah. asleep. You know, it's my time. Oh, Put on my yeah. headphones. And there, there's a, something going on either with my, my app or something. I'm like, oh, I got to wait. <laughs> you know, Jill, now Jill knows that once in a while I'm late posting the podcast. Yeah, yeah. she didn't know until just now. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably not you, Richard. <laughs> no, okay, okay. Well, I'll take you know, the blame. <laughs> along the lines of what you're saying, we, Jill and I did a live event recently, and somebody walked up to me and said, "You know, you guys filled in a niche that no one's filled." And I said, "I know this for all land thing." And they said, "No, no, you're just honest about stuff." Yeah. And I said, "Wow, that's true." That's the key. People just want the truth. They don't want to be sold a bunch of crap. You know, when you're tight on your money and you have enough money, you need to put into something. You need to reinvest it. You're, 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 you know, you're maybe in your 40s, 50s and, you know, ready to, I don't know, look for a new career. And there's so much out there that's just not true. And then Mm -hmm. your your, your system and the way you put it out there, you know, it's it's um, like Tim Ferriss. He gives you all the information. This is what it is. And you're successful by being honest. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's exactly. it. Exactly. Four that's hour work. It. He's a four hour work week. Guy, yeah. Right? I, I, uh-huh. That's exactly who that is. I love it. He's got a show too, I think. Does he? Oh, yeah. He oh, he does have a podcast, doesn't he? Is it a once a week? I don't even know. Do you know, check Richard? It out. Uh, I, you know, I think it's about four times a week. Okay. Well, good for him. Yeah. <laughs> that's so cool. Richard, we're on, we just passed 400. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? We mean 400. 400 episodes. Yeah, I yeah. tell you, I've been here about 18 months. It's about that many days. Yeah. <laughs> and you guys putting out before was seven days. I was like, oh, my God, that's a lot that of work. Cool. I don't have time to put all yeah. my engineering, all my pictures together, much less talk on the phone for <laughs> a scheduled period of time every day. I love it. Our friends still look at us and go, what the heck do you guys have to talk about? You know, aren't, yeah. you, don- aren't you out of stuff to talk about? We're like, yeah. oh, no. <laughs> like, how complicated is it? Yeah. You know, you should have been done about... 390 shows ago. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. Oh, I love no, it. No, you guys are, into, are are awesome and very entertaining. And, you know, you're always trying to listen to that one nugget, that one nugget every day that makes a difference. Thank you. Know? you. And, and at the very least, it's the motivation. Like, you know, when you're thinking you're failing, you're like, oh, man, is this right? And then you listen to the success stories and you're like, yeah, I can do this. This is easy. It really is easy. It really is one step at a time, one foot in front of the next and you'll get there. Anyone who's thinking about it, 
Just don't eat it all at one time. Just take little bits. If it takes you six months, who cares? Education yep. takes time. Right. That's good advice. I just got off the phone with a guy who uh, did a consultant called Joe. Mm-hmm. And he, he's uh, got a commercial real estate background. He knows Texas inside and out. Uh, I'm sure he's going to hear this because he listens to the show. And he was just really concerned. He's like, I'm ready to launch this thing. There's this, this, and this that I'm real concerned about. In fact, it would have been more appropriate for him to talk to you than me. Oh, really? And uh, next time I'll pull you in. Okay. And and I, he's going to knock it out of the park. You know how we say you got to have these five things to really, if you really want to make sure you're going to do this properly, mm-hmm. you had all five. So, okay, good. You know, experience. He's owned a company. He owns a company now. He he's doing funds. some other stuff. Yeah. He's got the money. He's got mm-hmm. the money lined up. So. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah. Well, that's it's the exactly. same as Richard, too. Yeah, that's I mean, a, well, that's why I bring it that's up. That's what we, we've gotten better to, Richard, now. Like, you know, um, I talk to people, you know, still wanting to get, to, to get in our world and, and have a lot of questions. And I'm even more honest with them now because I really can take a step back and I can look at, see, you, you check all the boxes, Richard. You have some experience. Yeah. You know what you're doing a little yeah. bit. You don't have a lot, but you get it, you know. And, you know, you have the funds. You, you've uh, pretty much owned your own business. This for mm-hmm. you know, there's a lot of things that there's that I we already know that that sets those people will be able to do this, and uh, so I I'm getting even better at telling people you know please don't you know I have to tell people I I, I gosh I get you're excited and motivated and you want to do this but until you have the funds to really do this or until you you know you can't be afraid of data that's a big one actually yeah. too people who come to us that you know <laughs> they, they're like what's Excel oh no this is not going to work for you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, well, listen, gonna... it takes time. I mean, when I started with computers, it was a green screen and a little thing blinking, right. you know. Me too. <laughs> right. I think we're the same age. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But, but you have to you have to learn. You have to get through that stuff and do a little of your work. And, and there you go. We're, you know, and it's great. We're here to, like, you know, Richard, we're, we're here to guide but not hold everyone's hand all the way. It's, it's impossible. And they won't succeed. They have to have some gumption. Well, what's your advice, Richard? What do you, what yeah. do you, you know, My advice is you can, I, I talk to people, you know, what do you do? And then you don't have to go into this long discourse about how it works and what do you do because it's so unique. <laughs> yeah. But you, you, they look at you sideways. Yep. And yep. if you say a deed, they're like, oh, oh, wow. Oh, you know, like if it's, you know, rocket science. Mm-hmm. And if you just look at it and you read it, it's really not a you know, big deal. You can't tell someone who's motivated anything wrong. They're going to succeed. But the person who's looking for excuses is guaranteed to fail because they've already concluded they can't. And if you can't, that is the truth. You can't. But saying you can and how just takes effort. And whatever you don't know as far as computers, Excel, Word, uh, copy and pasting and using graphics, there's this thing called YouTube. Yep. And you can learn more on YouTube with that little stuff. The knowledge, you guys can provide the knowledge. How to work the computers, just take one 15 minutes every day on YouTube. There's plenty of channels you can learn things on. I live in Where? I live in YouTube for everything. Mm-hmm. Oh, me too. I think I learned more on YouTube than I did in junior college. <laughs> yeah, me too. Right. I mean, I wish they had that when I was in school. Oh yeah. Is without the ability, without the ability to film myself, because that's not good. That wouldn't have been bad. Good for me at that age. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> what business in the world that you can triple your money? What business? If you're making, if you do twelve percent on the real estate market, you're a genius. Fifteen percent, you're a god. Twenty yeah. percent, people are looking at you sideways. Yep. But when you tell people, you know, yeah, I buy it for a hundred and I sell it for three hundred. I buy it for five hundred and I sell it for fifteen hundred. I buy it for ten thousand and sell it for thirty thousand. Yeah. Exactly, and uh, it's not just you know. You can look at the stock market. You can look at a lot, line it up against a lot of other stuff. But in the end, what pushed me over the edge was the fact that it's all variable costs and no fixed costs. You know, I don't need to go buy a factory to figure this out. I can do it uh, at the end of my bed if I need to uh-huh. for the for first part of it anyway and uh-huh. to accumulate some money. Exactly. That's what I love about it. Totally. Tell us about some deals you have going on right now. Anything cool? What's going on? You know. I jumped the, uh, the the Mississippi River, and I used to go buy my properties on the East Coast, and I jumped to the West Coast. <laughs> cool. I actually grabbed my family. We rented a motorhome. We went from Los Angeles to Vegas to uh, southern Utah, Arizona, Colorado, New Mexico, and I said, yep, 
I'm coming by getting home. I'm researching this area. It's beautiful out there. Awesome. So I, I like doing that four state New Mexico, Arizona, Utah, uh, Colorado, you know, areas. There's just beautiful mountains and uh and so, you know, I'm buying properties. I'm looking, you know, listen to you guys, you know, what's hot, what people are looking for, you know, five acres, you know, more, five, 10 to 40 acre parcels. I even have a hundred and 440 acre parcel that I've purchased and broken down into 40 acre parcels and um, making offers, you know, making awesome. offers, uh, you know, doing some research, seeing what the prices are, you know, like you say, go to Land Watch, go to Land and Farm and find out what half is and you know you got to pick it up for less than half at yep. a quarter of that price to sell it at half it's not hard is it it's not it's the research to me is the easiest part it's actually my one part I, I enjoy i'm kind of like you jack i really don't want to talk a lot of people this should sell you sell itself don't make me sell it to you it's so cheap how can you not want it right mm -hmm. um, well said but copy and pasting, putting the graphics together, that's time consuming. It, it, like you said, it can take a day. Yeah. Wow, you do listen to the show. I do. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, uh, subdividing like you described, breaking it down, breaking down the properties like that, that's my thing. So, I mean, how has your experience been with that? I, I've been lucky because I purchased 440 acres, which had three APN numbers. One, 140 had an APN assessor parcel number. Two, an 80 had an assessor, and then the other nine acres or nine um, parcels had one tax assessor number. So I called up the assessor and asked her, "Do you mind to subdivide these into 40s?" And she says, "Yeah, no problem." Uh, and, wow. and I asked her, you know, is there a fee? Do I have to fill out an application? She goes, no, I'll do it in the next two weeks. Oh, my God. I said, God. do I have wow. to send you a check? She says, no, it, it's no problem. Did you just send that her was, flowers? Oh, my God. You or know, brownies I, I, or something? Yeah, wow. You know, I, I've been meaning to go out there to look at the property. <laughs> yeah. Um, when I go out there, I'll stop in for sure, bring some cookies. Yeah. No, God, it wasn't it was stupid easy. I didn't That's have your new best anything. friend. Oh yeah! Never, never tell anybody where that is, or don't, don't yeah. ever talk about that again. Right? <laughs> no, 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 no. Believe me, you know, I, I'm like, uh, you know, it's like poker. Everyone in this business kind of keep their cards close to their chest. They want to reveal yeah. everything. <laughs> their, their little niche, their little corner of the world. Wow! I can honestly say, I cannot top that story. That's that's fr that's fr amazing. You made my day, man. That's well, one of those no one would believe. Yeah, I took Jill. I was going to say. Yeah, the exact you walk same around thing. telling people that they're not going to believe you. I, mean, I would and, not believe it. Yeah. I'm in the business. <laughs> and you know when you do your data and your Excel and you see you know you see one person has you know 20 lots. Well, <laughs> you kind of delete them all. You just send him one letter, and if he's interested, he'll bring up the others. That's mm -hmm. what happened. I sent the guy the one. You know, I sent I don't know a thousand people a single letter, but you know he might have had ten. I just deleted those and just sent one letter. Letter. He goes, yeah, I'll sell you the one, but you need to buy these other 10. Uh, all right, I can do that. <laughs> and I was I so nervous because I think, oh, he didn't reply to my email. We're not communicating. And then all of a sudden he popped up. Yeah, I'm ready. Here, take it. Yep. Two weeks later. Wow, and I had these awesome. APN numbers. So, and I realized how many parcels were under that one APN number. So. so just ballpark, did you, I mean, are you going to sell them? How much money are you going to make? Not dollars, but just are you going to double your money, triple your money? Triple. Tri triple is my, my, my business model. I figured <laughs> I have my investment, let's say for numbers sake, you know, I, I buy a piece, a parcel for five grand. I have to sell it for 15. Why? Yep. I take five grand to reinvest. I take another five grand to double my money and reinvest. And the other five grand I put in my pocket to live. Yep. Cool. Because if I'm spending what I'm making, I'm just spinning my wheels. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I need That's to grow great. it and double it. And I have a seven year plan of doubling, you know, and doubling and doubling. And you can get an idea what kind of numbers those will get in seven years. Yeah. We live those numbers and it's it's uh, fun to watch. And it's not hard to do when you when the assessor says, sure, I'll just uh, send you the new assessor parcel numbers. Give me two weeks. What's your email address? <laughs> yeah. Jack, are you tell are you telling me that's not normal? <laughs> no, it's no, not. No, <laughs> that's so good. No, I mean, if she, the only person I would ever be, well, I believe you because you've been with us for so long. But if Jill said that, I would believe it because of her personality. But usually uh, 
that doesn't happen ever. And oh, that's great. That easy. That was really good. I think this, the large size has a lot to do with it. Well, that was my first one. That's so good. You know, and counties, you know, they're, they're zoning, you know, 40 acres. You know, if you break it down under five, then it gets a little bit more challenging. Yeah, so you probably didn't break their zoning. It was probably zoned like RU40 or it doesn't matter. I'm not asking them. Yeah, yeah, it probably is. I don't know. I just asked her to do it. (laughs) She just was moving papers around. Here we go. Okay. And the other thing that I'd say is beginner's luck, but you're not a beginner at all. So, Mm -hmm. well, it was my first time to break down a large parcel. That was my first parcel to break down. Now, now he thinks it's always going to be that yeah. easy. <laughs> like, what do you uh, mean you can't just do it and send it to me in two weeks? It's like walking into a casino and winning the first time. Yep. It's the worst <laughs> thing that can happen. Right? <laughs> it's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> then you I, think it's supposed to happen that way all the time. Exactly. It's like when the first child turns out okay, and then you think all the rest should just be like that. Yeah, with no work. <laughs> 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 just coasting? Yeah. Yeah, no. They, oh, they can raise themselves the first exactly. one. Exactly. Just follow that one. <laughs> That's so Do what good. he does. Some other exactly. <laughs> so I love so you just went into my thing too, where you're gonna take this. So you have a you have a seven year plan. Are you where where are you in the plan? Well, you know, I, I was driving my, my daughter, she listens to me in the car and and she's always looking at Zillow and looking for different properties and houses and and we're you know, I was just doing some math and for seven years she'll be in college. My wife and I will be, you know, the kids out will be in college or out of the house. You know, I'm ready to either have a house in Colorado and one in Miami. And when it gets too cold there, come to Miami. When it's too hot here, go to Colorado. And my kids will be somewhere in between there studying university. So that's, you know, I love traveling. Traveling is my thing. And uh, Those are two great places to buy our, uh, our business, for our business, both of those states. Mm-hmm. You know, there just seems to be no shortage of uh, rural vacant property in Florida and uh, Colorado. And you can see that by how many properties to, are on the radar of the taxing authorities for some reason. Florida's just yeah, yeah. Packed. Florida. You know, he's also you say Florida, and especially whenever I, I have good success, whenever I post a property and a snow blizzard hits northeast and I put it on mm-hmm. Craigslist, I can't yeah. tell you how many calls. People are at home. They're thinking, I got to get out of here in seven years when I retire. Yeah. I'm going to Florida. Mm-hmm. I, I could not agree more. I, I used to gauge our whole business model based on the weather, like in the northeastern part of the country. Mm-hmm. Like I was in last week. A lot of years ago. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> well, but Jill, it's nice just to go visit and you're out yep. of there. You know, yeah. to live there all the time, that gets brutal. Exactly. Yeah. You know, it was so funny because this was, I'll tell you, Richard, this is actually my second official getting off the plane trip to New York. And uh, I'm, I'm walking around on day two going, this is pretty darn fun. I'm also, you know, and Jack's like, well, yeah, you also kind of don't have a job and you're staying at the Waldorf Astoria. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Well, Isn't that a nice that bar might there? Have, <laughs> that might have something to do with it. Yeah. Which which one? I, I <laughs> The one with the big mural behind it. Okay, that's the the, um, the lobby just off the, the lobby. lobby one. Yep, there you go. And I went to the underneath one there another night and had so much fun. You gotta, before we go, you got to tell Richard some of the perceptions you have in New York because I think because he's a New Yorker. Oh, you, you think? <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean like for instance, uh, New York doesn't Manhattan does they don't have alleys. Right. Oh, the trash lined up on the <laughs> sidewalks. Yeah. Was 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 it's different true. to me. And then when when I was sitting in a in a cab and I'm, I look over and I see someone on the side on the curb like cleaning out their car and all they're doing is taking the trash out of their car and throwing it on the street <laughs> I'm like oh boy in California you'd be in you, you yeah. could get in trouble for that I think it's a felony in yeah. still. it's like oh my gosh it was just <laughs> and he didn't thought nothing of it <laughs> oh no it was, <laughs> it was funny I wasn't there not too long ago and I used an Uber and I got into the wrong Uber and he calls me you know hey John I said no I'm Richard he goes no you're the wrong Uber and you know hey was calling for Ubers. I didn't know how to deal with an Uber in New York City with so many people. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, it was so interesting. But I, I got uh, I, I got my uh, little New York fix now, so I'm good. Nice. Food's nice. fantastic. It's so oh much man, fun. yeah, yeah. So that can make it all go away. How good the food is for sure. Oh, the food's oh, great. Yeah. 
I told I told Jack that I thought of New York. New York to me is like like a baby, like an infant, like you know when they're crying and fussy and you know whatever. And like during the day, it's crowded and busy. People are going places, and you kind of get you gotta get out of their way. And but then at night, when the buildings are all lit up and it's all this fun and like it's like a sleeping baby, it erases all the muck from the day. You know, you're like, <laughs> oh, it's beautiful again. You know. Oh yeah, no. So, I, I think the fastest people walk are from New York. The fastest yeah. walkers. Yep. Trying yeah. to keep up with them. Did you see any shows? I did. I saw Book of Mormon and then I went to a comedy thing another night and I was there for New York Fashion Week. Oh, so wow. I got to get in all of that and do do a late night after party underground. It was it was really fun. And I got more week work done than I ever have in California cuz I because I wasn't here. Allowed to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was perfect. <laughs> so really, really good. Cool. Hey, Richard, so, yeah. anything, anything else you want to share with us before we kind of wrap it up? It's been a pleasure to have you with us uh, all these, I guess, 18 months. Listen, it's been my honor, you know, to be on the show. And you invited me onto the show. That That's uh, very special. I just want to just tell whoever's thinking about it, you know. And we talk about having a lot of money and needing a lot of money. You know what? You can get by with a couple of thousand dollars. Get started. Get your feet wet. You might, you know, make a mistake. It's okay. You learn more from your your mistakes doesn't mean you're a failure or failed you can right. learn more from the mistakes from your successes truck you know keep on doing it just don't stop there's nothing out there better awesome richard thank, thank you. you so much we really appreciate it jack i'm surprised i didn't call you steve but <laughs> <laughs> I, I, was, I had to either. pause exactly. and say jack exactly <laughs> jack and Thanks. jill yeah, thank richard. you so much it's been thank wonderful you, i'm looking forward to seeing you guys maybe i'll take a flight out to uh la uh, when are you having the uh, get together this the 18th ish i have one uh, uh the 22nd february 22nd so um here and then i'm gonna do i'm, I'm gonna do a march one in scottsdale i'm gonna try to do every other month kind of depending where we are so. i might play out there and meet up with you guys with one of the two we'd love that awesome. That'd be fantastic, actually. Cool. Have a fantastic day. Pleasure. All the Thank best. Thank you, Richard. Richard. Okay. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Well, I didn't expect that at all, did you? That was so cool. I'm glad that we got to catch it's, up with him, and I love his model. It's real examples. Mm-hmm. You know, that's what I love. Mm-hmm. Boy, I mean, here's the math on that. So, and it doesn't matter where he's doing it. But, I mean, let's just say for the sake of argument that he's buying these properties. Let's just use nine 40-acre properties that he buys all at once, him or anybody, for a hundred bucks an acre, mm-hmm. nine eighteen three seven. That's three hundred sixty. You know, thirty six thousand bucks. And then he sells in Balford. Triple. Triple, right? I was going to say twelve thousand, but he, you can probably sell him for twenty. But let's just say twelve thousand. Mm-hmm. You know, so now you're looking at. I'm doing math on my calculator. Pulling in a hundred grand mm-hmm. on thirty thousand bucks. And that's, in his case, just talking to the assessor for a while. So that, exactly. That's the niche I love. You know, I, there's a lot of little tiny niches in this, in these businesses. And that's mine. Mm-hmm. You know, you can do it. I've done it on a real large scale, it's like 1,200 properties. And you take them down to 40s and, or 1,200 acres, take it down to 40s. It's mm-hmm. great. You know, the other, the other good thing that I think Richard um, mentioned that I wanted to bring to bring to our attention everyone's attention is he's been focusing on the east coast Every, a lot of people come into our world saying does it work on the east coast all i see oh, is you yeah, guys talking Jill. about the west coast i hear everybody doing west coast west coast west coast do you have anybody doing east coast and i always say yes there are people in east coast and richard's one of them clearly he's just now branching out yeah. and testing west coast properties so i mean it, it really is true when we say this does work everywhere you just gotta sit down and do your due diligence and you know and 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 we we are here to help and show everybody how. You know, the other thing is he put it, he, these concepts are not new, but he, the way that he put it uh, about this failing thing is perfect. You know, mm-hmm. he, if you have a lot of questions and you're real concerned, you're already starting to fail. You're, you're kind of like, you, right. you've been from that mm-hmm. school right? where you just got to do it. You do. And you do. You talk about it and whine about it a lot. You, you're right. I so, love yeah. that. Yeah, you know, and, I, and I, I, I'm glad you brought that up, too, because I felt I didn't mean to discourage anyone saying if you don't have these five things or whatever, you can't do it. No, that's not true, because motivation trumps everything. Well, if somebody told me you don't have these five things, you can't do it, I would go get the five things. Well, there, that was kind of where <laughs> I was going with it. It's like, you know, if you're coming to me saying I need you to show me Excel, I'm not going to do that. But if you when you come and say I've just spent 
90 days or whatever it is, I'm now, I got this, then, you know, or you know what I mean, or, you know, I'm, I was afraid of data, but now I'm not. And you know, I'm be honest with you, Jack, and, and everyone, I, I was not a data pro coming into this, mm-hmm. you know, oh, right, and, sure. um, you know, you learn, you, and, and you, you just learn to not be afraid, you know, like Richard said. You know, it's amazing to me, uh, Jill, this is more for you than the listeners. I look at the numbers that this podcast, the people who listen to this. So we started this, we just did show 400 Friday, last Friday. And the numbers consistently go up. You know, they don't spike too much, but they go up the way that they should organically, right? We're not spending any advertising or we don't have any advertisers. Mm-hmm. And then for the last couple of days, I've spoken with people who are diehard listeners on the show oh, and, yeah. and who are really successful at, at flipping dirt. So yes. That's like a huge accomplishment for us. Yes. And it's 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 kind of like uh, putting a face with a, a name, sort of, or it's just really realizing that. Because this is a lot of work, this show. Yeah. It, people are getting something out of it. Yes. The last four people I spoke with have said, I've, I've heard every episode you guys have put out. You're right. It, you know what? You're right. That's a, that's a good point. Even though we have our member calls and we have our online community, we have these other ways that we are, are helping and guiding, this show is actually more powerful than I think we realized. I had no idea. I was explaining, I don't think many of our listeners know, I was explaining uh, to somebody recently that, you know, Jill was never supposed to be, it was supposed oh, to yeah. just be my boring, me, <laughs> boring me. Yeah. That's what the name of the show was. It was just yours. And so I kind of had a lot of bunch of guests. They're still on iTunes if you go back or not on iTunes on, our, on the internet. And these guests would constantly not show up. So Jill would just fill in. And pretty soon everybody's like, come on, let's just have Jill on a regular show. Yeah. And it worked out great. Thank you. I'm glad you like it. A lot, some people are like, I never want to do that again. So for show, after show 400, if I pass, are you done testing me out? Am I still filling in? Let me tell you, tell you sweetheart. <laughs> Fill in show number 500. Okay. You are the show. Oh. Trust me. I'm, I'm the, the straight man. You're the people listen to you, not me. <laughs> Silly. <laughs> Trust me. Silly. I wish I could get analytics on that. I know I'm right. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Information and inspiration to buy undervalued property. We are Jack and Jill, and this was the Cash Flow from Land Show. We are the experts at acquiring property of all kinds, not just land. For half price, just so we can flip it for way more. And really fast. Thanks for listening. You are not alone in your real estate ambition.